Why have the birds of paradise become the most diverse, bizarre and beautiful of all bird families? Why have they developed the most extravagant plumes and adornments of any group of living things on Earth? So that sometimes they almost cease to look like birds at all. And why is it that this extraordinary family is largely restricted to one jungle-covered island in the Pacific? Explorers and scientists have been puzzling over these questions for 500 years. Even today, by using the latest filming techniques, we're making new discoveries about their behavior. This, surely, is one of the most spectacular sights anyone could see in the natural world. The mystery of the birds of paradise began back in the 16th century. In 1522, a ship returning to Europe from exploring the mysterious islands of the Far East brought with it, amongst other marvels, three extraordinary skins. They were very like this one. You can see it's a bird, there's its beak and its head, and here are these long feathery plumes. But it has no wings and no feet. The explorers have been told that that was because these birds lived in paradise. The ship concerned was one of five that had set out in 1519 to sail around the world for the very first time under the command of the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. They endured catastrophic tropical storms and shipwrecks. Magellan himself was killed in a tribal war in the Philippines. But after three grueling years, the Victoria, the sole surviving ship, arrived back in Spain. It was loaded with wonders and treasures, including those first specimens of birds of paradise. Magellan had been presented with these skins by a king in the Spice Islands, the 